The Take Back Trinity protests brought the eyes of the country onto the Dublin University as students occupied iconic buildings on campus in response to their €450 Euro exam repeat fees. Controversy arose when students in the dining hall were locked both in and out and were denied access to food and toilets. But despite this, the protest persisted and won out. And now members of the movement agree that it can be used as a benchmark for further student action. The sentiment that brought about Take Back Trinity is shared across the country. I think Take Back Trinity can be a spark. I think the 450 euro fee that sparked the, sparked the, the immediate protests and then brought about our larger demands. I think every college has these things that spark every so often and if Take Back Trinity can spark other things that's great but I think the conditions are there and the sentiment is there for people to take a stand and say you know what education should be affordable education should be there for people and it's just gone too far at this point for us to take it any longer. Um, I think Trinity is in a unique position where we share our campus with tourists more so than other colleges would and that's kind of been a source of a lot of tension but in every other college and third level institution in this country students feel like they're not being listened to. Students feel like we're competing with ever-rising costs of living and registration fees and all these fees that we just can't avoid. So there's a real sense of unhappiness and un un like lack of comfort and lack of mutual respect between college and students and that's happening everywhere. So absolutely, this could go national, this could go international. Here in DCU, repeat exam fees are lower at a cost of 190 euros and cover all repeats instead of just one exam. But Callaghan Commons, the Vice President-elect for Academic Affairs, believes that while the DCU fee is more manageable, the conditions that led to the Take Back Trinity movement are not unique to just one university. One of the things that is continuing to happen is the increase of fees. The fees are increasing, 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 and that was one of the main aims of Take Back Trinity. One was the fees, another one was to stop the increase of um, fees going up, and another is to stop the increase of um, fees for uh, international students and postgrads as well. Those are problems that uh, are, across, are across all kinds of universities, DCU, UCD, Ivory College, not only just Trinity. Um, the fees for the um, exams, that was, that was specific for Trinity because of the way they do their repeats and the changes to it. But there is a wider range there that could happen in any campus and I think I praise Trinity for what they did. They took, took action and had their voices heard. The Take Back Trinity protests have inspired a national conversation about exam repeat fees, but it remains to be seen whether or not it will also inspire a new wave of student activism across the country. Alex Dunn, DCU TV News.